Happy New Year and Salam Alaikum and welcome to my channel guys. It's Luna Marine. I'm bringing you guys another video with more spiritual cleansings for the new year. I have two spiritual baths, okay? And um, you could also use them as floor washes. So the first one, um, I use herbs. The, the majority of them like I love to use because I love herbs um, it's to clean and break away all negativity all negative um, auras that could be like you know hanging on attached to our ourself it's good to remove really bad negative entities like spirits if you feel like you have brujeria or you've been hexed things are not going good if you have like a really bad luck streak happening one thing after the other I totally recommend this bath for you and as a floor wash as well. So I already have a batch here prepared and um, I boiled all of these plants and then afterwards I just put them inside uh, this. I took all the plants of course because it would be really messy. But then I put it in the fridge and I store it for later use. Um, the actual herbs that I use for this one was Alamo, Espanta Muerto, Quita Maldición, Rompe Saraway, and rice, white rice, guys. Arroz, agua de arroz. If you read about it, it's really good to break any type of brujería, any type of negativity. So I also added, which it wasn't on the list, but I bought a part, Ruda, which is also known as Rue or Rue Water. Um, you could buy it like this in the Botanica or you could make it yourself, whichever way you want to do it. It's up to you. After I use the herbs, because I, the Botanica gives me a lot of them, my house literally looked like a freaking jungle. I'm not kidding, guys. So what I like to do is collect, this is Espanta Muerto. I label them. I'm still working on my storage space, but yeah. And I like to save the plants or the leaves or the sticks, however I'm gonna use it for later. And I like to kind of dry them up because I could actually use them for different uses after for example you could make them into powders you could use them to burn them around the house like an incense for you know more cleansings um so it's espanta muerto i have here alamo they're still kind of fresh um as you can see because i just got them for new year's and today is uh june no i'm sorry my bad uh <laughs> January 2nd, so and I got these on the 31st, so so I have that. So that's for my uh, removal of things. And then I have here Paraiso. I label them, of course, but I don't know if you guys whoop, can't see that. Paraiso, which this is the one used for the good bath that I'm gonna explain to you guys after. So once you guys boil all of these plants together you're um you're gonna use that water you're gonna let it cool off you could pray over it a little bit if you want and afterwards what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a bath from the neck down okay and then when you're done taking a shower with it what you do is leave it on for at least two minutes and like pat yourself dry and try to go to sleep with that if you can it doesn't smell that bad guys i totally promise but yeah so then once we're done removing or doing the, what we call amargo or sour bath, I guess you could say that in, in English, I don't know. But yeah, once you're done doing that, then I always recommend to do a sweet bath afterwards. So you banished the bad and now it's time to bring the good. So for my good bath, you ready guys to bring good luck, prosperity, money, who needs some money, right? Um, a lot of clarity, of course, peace. I don't know if you guys suffer from like anxiety. I think I've spoken to this about before. If you watch my channel, I do suffer from anxiety. So um, panic attacks, the worst. That's one of the gifts that come with uh, being an empath and spiritual. So I have to use a lot of this on myself. This is Balsamo Tranquilo. This is a spiritual balm, a spiritual oil. You could also get this in the Botanica. Some CVSs and Walgreens do sell them. So you could check there too. So for the other bath that you're gonna do afterwards, again, remember, neck down. This is a cold bath. You do not have to boil anything for this bath. Um, what I recommend this year is uh, to, do, to start off with a little bit of goat milk. I got mines in Sedano's 
Any Spanish store would sell this regular goat milk, comes in a can. So you use some of this, you use some perejil, which is also known as parsley. If you read on the magical properties on parsley, it helps you bring money, prosperity. It's always good to put some of this on your wallet as well. I added some of that. Uh, egg whites, which I don't have any here, but egg whites. And I did add paraiso. I don't know if you guys remember the herb I showed you in the beginning. This one, paraiso. I got this one in the botanica as well. But I did add it, it was a little bit more fresh than it is now here. I added paraiso. I added attracting oil, which is atrayente oil. And I also added, of course I added balsamo tranquilo. In my case, it's optional for you, but in my case I order because I wanna be calm. I added abre camino, road opener. And of course, my favorite, what's this guys? Agua Florida, Florida water. All right, this is a game changer, guys. You guys need to have some of this. If you want to get into the spiritual stuff, I totally recommend you have Agua Florida, Colonia 1800, Cascarilla, remember? Cascarilla. This is very good also for, um, what you do is just break some off into your uh, bath and you're all good. I added to my bath, which I don't have out here because I have too many things, apart from holy water, I have like actual San Lazaro holy water and I have holy water that was brought to me from Jerusalem. So I, I put both, you know, why not? Let's, let's go all out. It's New Year's guys, right? Um, I also added honey for a chun, which is miel. I also added melao, which is uh, cane sugar for yemaya, okay? I also added, let me see if I remember, oh, cinnamon, of course. You guys know I love cinnamon because we want to bring some money and some good luck and some all positivity. Brown sugar, of course, I added. Um, so, yeah, you know, pretty much that's what the bath really much consisted of. Um, of course, I lit up a candle, white candle, prayed over it. And, of course, after I finished doing that bath and I waited for a little bit, I went in, I put more uh, water into the bath so I could make it kind of warm because I hate throwing cold water on myself, but yeah, it was pretty fresh. And then I gave myself that bath. When I finished all that, of course, you know for a fact that I did this, the floor wash with the banishing one, okay? And I did the floor wash for the attraction, for the good, for the road opener. Very, very, very good bath to give yourself and to clean the house with. Now, when I did this floor wash with the perejil and the paraiso, I did add ice to my uh, bucket of water, which I used to mop the floor with. You start from the back of the house and you finish in the front to like the front uh, door. And I always like to sprinkle some of that water or just throw out the rest of the bucket, whatever is left out into the uh, opening or to the entrance of my home and then afterwards um, I finished the you know the cleansing uh, rodando un coco which is uh, basically you get a coconut and well I broke mine so I don't have one to show you guys but I got the coconut and what I do is that I put a lot of like cascarilla over it and I get manteca de corojo if you don't have manteca de corojo you could use cocoa butter yeah cocoa butter like the one on the stick that you guys could find in the store and what you do with that is you rub it all over and I like to uh, blow some humo de tabaco some tobacco smoke over it and pray over the coconut and then start rolling it from the back of the house getting all the corners under the bed and I ended up all the way to the beginning or the entrance of my house break that coconut and then dispose of it of course you know the drill with that you have to dispose of it the correct way. Always make sure to pay your derechos, or I call it like a toll. So I always like to do three cents for el agua, which is, you know, the road opener of, and the, road, the door opener saint. Um, and I like to put 21 cents for el muerto, or the deity, the, the, the deity that is actually assisting me with the cleansing. I like to throw some cascarilla in the bag a little bit of honey and the ending of the tobacco or mocho de tobacco, whatever's left of the tobacco that you smoked or you blew around the house. That's it, close the bag, 
throw it either on a four-way stop that you're not gonna pass by in a few days possibly three seven five or 21 days that you won't pass by there you dispose of it in a bag there or you could throw it in a river you could throw it in an ocean you can throw it even if you live near a railroad if you have no other option then just trash it but if you could really find a place to let go of it by all means please do Another thing that I have that it's a really good thing to do for New Year's is um, hojas de laurel. Again, you can get this either in Walmart, Sedano's, like I like to go if you don't have a Sedano's. Um, this is, you find this in the food section, like in the condiment section. These are leaves. They're called, are they called bay leaves? No, they're not bay leaves. Laurel. I gotta get back to you on the name of laurel, but... These are really good for burning as incense also around the house. Um, you can also write your wishes, like let's say money, health, prosperity, and burn them. And wishes do come true with these. I'm telling you guys, like I did this for my friend uh, that she was looking for a job and I'm like, hey, let's do this for fun. We lit up one of these and she put that she wanted to find a job. And like, I kid you not, like the next day she got an interview and she got hired. So, yeah, it totally works. You want to give it a try? Hojas de laurel, laurel leaves. You can try that as well. You can burn them around the house. Also, this along with the parsley, with the perejil, it's always good to have a combination of these one or the other or both if possible in your wallet. It also brings good luck and money to your pockets as well. So yeah, guys, I try to keep the video short and simple. Um, if you do have any questions, please comment me below. I'll be more than happy to answer everybody's questions. Um, if you cannot reach me, uh, please email me at A-M-E-L-Y-V-A-L-E-N-T-I-412 at gmail.com. Amelie Valenti at gmail.com. I'm sorry, Amelie Valenti412 at gmail.com. And I'll get back to you guys. Um, in case you don't want to write to me through YouTube or for privacy issues, I'll be more than happy to assist you guys. And you know what? I've had an epiphany. I realized I'm really good at doing these spiritual baths. And I, I have a lot of friends that ask me like, hey, do you want to like give me some of that bath or, or floor wash for good luck or for love or whatever? So I'm like, you know what? I know herbs. I'm going to start selling this stuff. This stuff is like really good stuff and it's for your benefit honestly so if you guys are interested in um obtaining some of these four washes or anything like that i'll be more than happy to mail it to you um contact me via email and i'll be more than happy to send you guys a batch whether if it's powders or spiritual baths or floor washes or even if you need some help with just you know like hey what should i buy for this or that contact me and I'll see what I can do. We'll try to work something out. So yeah, I want to wish you guys all a happy new year. Remember this year, according to La Letra del Año, as per the Cuban one, which is the one that I go after, is uh, the deities that are ruling this year is Oshun, La Virgen de la Caridad. She's the one that's governing this year with Ogun Otan. So you guys heard it. If you guys know, if you guys don't follow La Letra del Año, I suggest you guys do a little research. So one of the dichos that it is said for this year is, Lo que se bota no se recoge. In other words, what you throw out, you don't pick it back up. So I'm, I'm really holding on to that saying this year. That's going to be the motto for like my year. Like what I dispose of, I ain't picking it up. So if that goes for friends, things that are broken, whatever, you know. If it ain't working for me, honey, it's going to the trash. So, yeah, guys, well, I'm sorry I've been out for a while. You guys, I'm here for any time if you guys need me. I am always on YouTube. I just haven't done videos. I'm so sorry, guys, is that I've been so hectic. I've had, like, a crazy, crazy, crazy end of the year. My daughter got sick. She got, like, the flu A. It was really bad. She was six days with fever. I had to go to three different hospitals until they finally realized, oh, she also has bronchitis. So of course, after that, they, they gave me their medication because she also suffers from asthma. Um, thankfully, she's good because they gave her antibiotics. 
Um, I had a trip also. I went to uh, Houston, Texas to meet uh, my new nephew that was born on Dia de San Lazaro, December 17th. Such a cute, cute as a button. But also that day, um, my dog, my I have two French Bulldogs, um, my other dog, Sammy, he passed away also that day. So coincidentally, um, his, after his passing, my daughter actually started getting better. So another recommendation um, they've always told me is good to have pets in the house, especially dogs, any sort of pet, because whenever there's something bad or any bad energy or negativity, the animal will pick it up and they'll go in their place, in your place, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, so we're kind of still sad about that. Um, but yeah, we're, we're doing good, hopefully. Um, we're expecting hopefully new babies coming soon, new baby puppies. So I'm planning on keeping two more. So I'm gonna have three dogs running around my house. Hi Chanel. And this is Chanel, this is my baby. And this is my other baby. <laughs> I have such a mess here. But yeah guys, so like I said, everything that you do, you must do it with faith and with a lot of, lot of, lot of good intention. Set your intention. Whatever questions you need, I am here for you guys. So yeah, if you guys want to hit me up, feel more than just go for it. I'll be right here. Um, so yeah, have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good afternoon, wherever it is that you're watching me from. And see ya.